So welcome to a brand new series on my channel where we're going right back to Flutterflow Fundamentals in 2024. Now a lot has happened in Flutterflow in 2023 and certainly since I recorded some of my early content, it's now time for a bit of a refresh and together we're gonna to build a brand new web application and hopefully all of the fundamental concepts should hopefully stick and you'll be able to apply into your own projects. So as I said, it's beginner friendly, it's very, very walkthrough style, it's multi-episodes, so of course you can put down and you can pick up however you would like. And of course, we're gonna be progressively building this application as we work through this particular series. So the fundamentals that you see on screen at the moment in no particular order are gonna be covered in this particular series. There's a lot going on, there's so much there to learn um, and hopefully, once you kind of got a grip of all of this, then your uh, your knowledge will be at such a good level that you'll be able to then apply more advanced techniques actually into your Flutterflow projects. So what does that mean then? What, is, what are we actually going to learn? So we're going to build this application from scratch. We're going to start from a brand new Flutterflow project and we're going to work through some of the early changes that we need to make. And then we're going to get us into this, this canvas. Then we're going to start progressively building our application. So this is going to be a web application. In my previous series I did in the early part of 2023, we focused on mobile. So here it's going to be web application because Flutterflow has moved on a long way since then. And of course, Anything you learn here, regardless whether it's for web, can easily be applied into the mobile world as well. So don't, nothing is off, off grid here. Everything you learn is gonna be applied across both mobile and web. And of course, along the way, I'm going to introduce some of my own best practices as well. If you've watched any of my previous content, you'll know that I've touched on many different ways in which I like to build my Flutterflow applications. Um, so I'm going to introduce those as well in this particular series as well. So feel free to pick those up and use those as you go through. Um, and it's, as I said before, it's delivered in a very, very walkthrough learning style. That's how I like to do my videos. I like to try to guide you through with not too much missed out in the middle. And hopefully that will really, really help and support your learning as well. And as I work myself way through the episodes, I'm also going to be providing uh, the clonable projects. If you get yourself stuck or things don't look right, then you'll be able to look at those, those project stages that you can clone within each of the episodes as well that they certainly apply to. So do look out for those as well if you get yourself stuck. And um, the final project will be available then at the final episode. So you can then cross check that with how and what you've produced just to make sure that everything is pretty well much as you expect it to be. Okay, so what is the application that we're gonna be building? So on screen at the moment, you can see here, this is the web application, it's a sticky notes application. It's, it's, it's quite simple in its nature, but the whole idea of everything that's covered within it is all of those fundamentals, okay? So I've tried not to be too complex with the user interface, but what that is demonstrating to you is all of these key concepts which are gonna be so important, as I said. So it's gonna be a single page application. We can use lots of different components. There's gonna, these are gonna interact with each other. We've got um, sort of smoothly, We've got like a smoothly animated uh, sort of user interface as well. So you can learn animations as well, because that is the bit that really, really makes your application come to life as well. So we're certainly gonna be applying plenty of animations inside the application. And it also supports dark mode as well. As you can see here, we've got a, a dark mode look to the applications. If you're looking to apply high, contract, uh, high contrast user interfaces to your users, then we'll cover that with inside this series as well. So that's pretty well much it. And then additional learning after that, of course, there's going to be future seasons where we're going to then start introducing sort of database AI features using low code back end services and more. So, so much more to come in future series. Um, so please do keep an eye on those as they arrive on the actual channel as well. So of course, if you are new to Flutterflow, there is so much there already on my channel. So please do go and have a look at that, covering a whole variety of topics as well. And if there's one thing I ask you to do, and one thing I really appreciate is certainly like the video because that gets all of the content out to the wider Flutterflow community. So I really do appreciate that. And of course, if you really do like what I'm doing, then please do subscribe to the channel as well. Um, as I said, there's lots more content to come and there's so much on there already as well. So just one final thing then before we get into the video, this is myself. I'm a Flutterflow ambassador for Europe. Super proud to have that. And um, I really do like to work with inside the community as well. And of course, I've also been voted an educator of the year in 2023. So uh, super proud of that. And um, hopefully uh, the standard um, is what you'd expect from somebody um, who, who li really likes to spend his time in Flutterflow. So uh, there we go. That's pretty well much it. Let's now move into the video uh, properly. Let's have a look at the sample application that we're going to build. 
detailed. I'll give you a quick overview of that. And then in the next episode after that, we'll then start working on the actual construction as well. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so here we are then in Flutterflow run mode. You can see here the application up and running. Now, this particular design was inspired by um, something I saw on dribble.com, which is a fantastic website there for design inspiration ideas. I picked out the best of it and I kind of put this particular application together. So what you see on screen here is the, our sticky notes application. Now I can go here and I can move over to the little plus. So you can just see here that I've got a little bit of animation there, hit the little plus, and then I get these kind of circles, these colored circles that kind of drop here and I can now create a sticky note. So I can just come here and if I choose a little blue one, for example, I think a brand new note uh, sort of created and I can say, this is a test, hit enter, and then that sticky note will then be persisted to the browser local storage. And of course I could just refresh this page now and those sticky notes will come back. So although there's no database in this, the notes are actually stored inside the browser's storage mechanism. Now, of course I can come here and I can edit this one. I can just sort of, you know, take out some content Content here. This um, is another test, test, testing like that. Something like that. Hit enter or press a little tick box, and it will uh, it will do the same thing as well. So um, I can obviously delete these as well. And if I wanted to, I can then switch to the dark mode there. And as you can see, we've now got this high contrast look to the application. So there it is. It's a, a very very simple application, but there is a lot going on underneath the covers as well. And that's what this fundamental video is all about and um, hopefully you'll be able to take all of these concepts into your own projects um, going forward. Okay so in the next episode we're going to focus on then building this particular application so hopefully you are ready to go. Let's get into the series properly and uh, I'll see you in the next video.